Well, one of the great things about the nuclear industry is we really do pull together in a crisis. So right from the very beginning, uh, the whole industry has been very focused on not only making sure that we understood the events in Japan, but also reaching out to help in any way that we can. And we've always taken our commitment to safety very seriously. And for me personally, um, I live within about five miles of one of our plants. And so it's, it's not only a, a professional commitment that I have, but a personal commitment as well. So since March 11th, what have we done? Well, within a few days, Exelon and the entire U.S. industry voluntarily undertook an in-depth review of our own safety procedures and processes and training and equipment that we have on our site. And we were focused on our, on our ability to respond to either man-made or natural disasters, but in particular looking at cases where we might have more than one uh, event at a time, such as an earthquake and a flood together. And those reviews were completed by mid-April across the entire United States. And what did we learn? Well, we did learn that, that, you know, as we expected, our plants are very safe. We have defense in depth. We have multiple uh, layers upon layers of, of different systems that are able to perform the important safety functions. But we also learned that we have some opportunities to be even better. For example, in some cases, emergency equipment might not be stored in the best location or uh, procedures might not be detailed enough to make sure that in, in all cases we would be able to uh, connect that portable equipment easily. So those are the kind of things that, that we're um, already making improvements on as a result of the events in Fukushima. And then of course the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is also doing additional inspections and, and reviewing uh, similar things you know, to make sure that, that in fact um, you know, the plants continue to run safely. So, uh, you know, the bottom line is that our plants are safe, but our industry will continue to, to uh, understand the events in Japan and continue to do whatever we need to do to make sure that we stay safe or, or become even safer.